for missions like Chandrayaan 3 and the missions that are in the offing. I think that's a great word of you know, comfort that we are receiving for pursuing the inspirational work that we are doing for the nation. The Chandrayaan-3 mission saw the involvement of top talent to guide the spacecraft through its solitary journey through the vastness of space. Here's a look at some of the key team players behind ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 mission. The brain behind India's ambitious moon mission, S. Somnath, is the Secretary of the Department of Space and Chairperson of the Space Commission. Somnath has also served as the director of the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre and the Liquid Propulsion System Centre, which is the primary centres for development of rocket technologies for ISRO before heading India's space organisation. He completed his B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from TKM College of Engineering in Kollam. He also holds a Master's in Aerospace Engineering from Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. He specialised in Structures, Dynamics and Control with a gold medal. For missions like Chandrayaan 3 and the missions that are in the offing, I think that's a great word of you know, comfort that we are receiving for pursuing the inspirational work that we are doing for the nation. I want to tell you and I want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days, uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in ISRO. I thank all those people in all around the country and maybe beyond the country for their blessings and wishes and, and affection that he has given to each one of us for doing this work for the last so many years. The son of a former railways employee, P. Veera Muttavil, has been in charge of the overall mission of putting together Chandrayaan-3 in coordination with multiple ISRO centres. Since the launch of Chandrayaan-3 by the LVM-3 rocket on July 14, Veera Muttavil and his team of scientists have been at the mission control room at the ISRO telemetry, tracking and command network centre to constantly monitor the health and operations of the spacecraft on its 3,84,000 km voyage to the moon. The entire mission operations right from launch till landing happened flawlessly as per the timeline and we became the fourth country to land to demonstrate the soft landing onto the moon surface and we became the first country to go to the near to the south pole of the moon Srikanth ever since his appointment in 2021 has been at the forefront ensuring meticulous planning and execution his role wasn't limited to strategy he was integral to the safety protocols for the spacecraft Kalpana K has been with ISRO since 2003. Having joined ISRO's UR Rao Satellite Centre as a scientist in 2003, Kalpana played an important role during the launch of Chandrayaan-2 and Mangalyaan missions. Sankaran is the director of what was formerly known as the ISRO Satellite Centre, the agency which builds spacecraft for the agency's space missions. The Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft was built at URSC. Sankaran has been the director of URSC since June 2021. He was previously the deputy director for the Communication and Power Systems Unit at URSC and has played a role in the development of solar arrays, power systems and communication systems for ISRO's Chandrayaan-1 and 2 and mass orbiter missions. Not just them. Hundreds of ISRO scientists have worked behind the scenes to make the moon landing possible and in turn, make India the first country to land a spacecraft on the lunar south pole. 